Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Wednesday. Welcome back. I hope your day is off to a fantastic start. It is the last day of the month and that means we get to discuss my beauty trash. So like the little weirdo that I am, uh, I squirreled away my trash for you guys this entire month. <laughs> Uh, away from everybody. Uh, it lives in my little closet off to the side here. And I love taking out this bucket at the end of each month and giving you guys final reviews, final thoughts on products that I completely used up. Um, as always, there are things in here that maybe I started at the beginning of May and finished over the course of the month, or um, there might be things in here that I have had open <laughs> and in my bathroom for a year, possibly even more. For example, I know for a fact that this uh, Alterna Restructuring Bond Repair Leave-In Heat Protection Spray has been underneath my bathroom sink probably since probably the beginning of 2022 at some point. So yeah, I, I am one of those people that has uh, a number of products going at any given time, usually more than one of, you know, each type of thing. Like I have a couple of moisturizers open. I always have multiple shampoos and conditioners going. Multiple, dang, those airplanes are loud today. <laughs> multiple um, body washes, body scrubs, all that jazz so um yeah didn't necessarily start and finish these things in may but uh happy to give you guys some final thoughts on them after going through the entirety of each of these products i think these are some of the most useful reviews um it is why i continue to talk about my trash and why i am still watching these empty videos here on youtube so as always i will be linking everything in the description box down below we have quite a few things this month but also not like a crazy amount of products sometimes i will just link the things that i most recommend but if there's not like a ton of stuff then i will usually take the time to link everything if i have a discount code to pass along or if i happen to come across a really good price a sale price somewhere for one of these things i will link the best priced option in the description box so um let's get into it you guys i will also let you know if anything was sent to me as pr so i'm always upfront when when things are sent. So, um, all right, we're gonna get started with the biggest thing that's in here, I guess. Okay, this is actually my makeup brush cleaner. Um, it takes me quite a while to get through one of these bottles of the Dr. Bronner's uh, Pure Castile Soap. This one is in the rose fragrance. Um, what I will do is just fill the um, sink in our guest bathroom. Nobody ever uses that bathroom. It's perfect for brush cleaning. So there was a nice big counter for me to lay everything out in there after I wash them. But I put a couple of dashes of this in with the warm water and then I have this little glove that has like different brush cleaning textures on it. Um, I, you know, will put a little bit extra of the cleanser on that little mitt that I have and then just go through and clean all of my brushes. This has never dried the bristles out, whether on my natural bristle brushes or on the synthetic brush bristle brushes. Um, cleans them beautifully. The rose scent is nice, so you know, I, I like this smell. You can also use the bar soap as well. In the past, I used to actually just use the bar soap um, and I would just run my brushes over the bar a couple times and then onto that little mitt to deep clean them. Um, I, whatever your preference is, this has just been a fantastic, very economical uh, brush cleaner. And I, I don't think you have to buy like a specialty brush cleaner. This works just fine. So um, yeah, anyway, love that. We'll repurchase. In fact, I need to, the next time that I head down to, um, what do you call that place? Target. You can get that at Target. You can get it at Sephora, no, not Sephora, yeah, Ulta. You can get the Dr. Bronner soaps at Ulta as well. So Amazon, whatever, yeah, it's available everywhere. So, okay, this is actually Craig's uh, shampoo. Um, I was gonna say shampoo and conditioner, but he doesn't use conditioner. Craig has really fine thin hair like I do. Normally I buy him the raw sugar charcoal shampoo, but lately I've been buying him the strawberry, white tea, and nettle. Um, this is from their Volume Revive line. He really just likes the smell of this one, <laughs> so more so than the charcoal, I guess. So this works great for him. Um, Craig does work in a job where he gets quite greasy and dirty every single day. So when he comes home, he really needs something that like foams up nicely. 
gets rid of all the grease and stuff that might get into his hair. He does wear a hat, but somehow his like hair just gets really dirty every single day. So this has worked fantastically well for him and it smells really good. I love the smell of this in his hair. So big fan of that. Okay, here we have the Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup, Ma Makeup <laughs> Melt Away Cleansing Balm. I need to slow my roll here because things want to come out a lot faster than my mouth can actually like form the words. <laughs> and so this particular, uh, cleansing balm is I would say hands down currently my favorite. I have repurchased it multiple times. It is just the fastest and most effective and it doesn't sting my eyes and it very quickly dissolves my mascara. Um, also breaks down SPF, makeup very easily, very quickly, rinses clean and then doesn't leave my skin feeling stripped or dry because I do go in with a second cleanse um, with my oily skin type that just works best for me. Um, and I just, I, I like this. It comes in specialty fragrances from time to time. I actually really like the original fragrance, but sometimes you see it in blueberry, lemon, there's been a peaches and cream scent. I think there's a strawberries and cream coming out or something like that. So if, if you'd like to try the different scents, the formula is all the same. It's just the scent that changes. Um, they also have an unscented version as well. I actually don't love the unscented as much. It's a slightly different formulation um, and it doesn't rinse off quite as quickly as the original does. So I don't know. But if you maybe have a drier skin type or you don't like fragrance, uh, try the other one, but I will link this one down below. I am a partner at pharmacy, so I do have a 20% discount code for them. It is an affiliate discount code, but if you want to save 20% on the pharmacy website, you can use it on this or whatever else floats your boat. I do have this other pharmacy, by the way, I, pharmacy didn't send me these. I bought these myself. Um, this is the pharmacy clean B ultra gentle facial cleanser. Oh, I really like this cleanser a lot. I had this in my shower. Um, this is a very gentle foaming cleanser, but even if you don't normally gravitate towards foaming cleansers, this is not one that would dry your skin out at all. I, this is kind of a magical cleanser. It does have a slight, like almost honey type fragrance to it, but it's not overly strong or aggressive and um, gets my skin super clean. I like to use this in the shower in the morning with my Foreo Luna Go device. Um, just gives me a really nice, fresh clean in the morning, gets the skin ready for the morning skincare routine. And yeah, it's just, it's a great option year round. So would, would recommend for sure. Now this is the cleanser that I had at my bathroom sink. So this is what I mean by always having like multiple like things going at any given time in terms of cleansers, shampoos, conditioners, things like that. So I have a cleanser in the shower and one at the sink so I don't have to like move them back and forth. This is the, and this was a PR item here so I did not pay for this one. This was the Pacifica Kale Detox Deep Cleansing Face Wash. Now this is specifically for oily and blemish prone skin. I really like this a lot, but I will say the fragrance I think could be a turn off to a lot of people. Um, it does kind of, oddly smell like kale. Um, it, the scent kind of reminds me of the youth to the people. What is theirs called? Like the spinach and kale cleanser. It's their green cleanser. It comes in a glass bottle. It's a beautiful bottle. Um, I like that cleanser, but it has that really kind of strong like kale, almost heavy herbal type note. This has a similar type of scent. If you don't like the smell of the youth to the people one, I, you're probably not gonna like the smell of this either. But in terms of its cleansing power, for sure, this was a great second cleanse for nighttime when you know I was using the Pharmacy Green Clean first. Um, gets rid of any remaining traces of dirt, oil, makeup, SPF. Would probably be a little too drying for someone with a like drier skin type. The foaming action on this is quite intense and definitely I could, I could see where some people could feel like maybe this would be a little bit more stripping to their skin. With my oily skin type, I think it's okay. Um, but if you're dry, you probably wouldn't grab something like this to begin with anyway. However, if you're oily, I, I think it's definitely worth a try and it's Pacifica so you can get this on the drugstore side of Ulta and you can use those 350 off coupons sometimes they even have better coupons available um, always check your app when you're checking out um, 
This is another great product that I have been using in place of my, so I gave up the Paula's Choice Clinical 20% uh, niacinamide serum for just a little while to test some other niacinamide serums for you guys. Um, I will admit that I really miss the Paula's Choice. I, I can't wait to go back to it, but I do think this would be a great, less expensive alternative if you are looking for a niacinamide serum. This is the Pure Biome Balancing Serum. This uh, is alongside the niacinamide you are also getting prebiotics and probiotics in this formula as well as Sika. Sika is going to be a wonderful like soothing type effect on the skin if you deal with rosacea if you just have any type of like irritation on your skin the Sika will kind of help to calm that um i don't know what percentage of niacinamide is in here um i i think i tried to look that up and i don't think they break down the, the concentration so um, I'm going to look into it a little bit more and if I can find it, I will definitely link that or list that in the description box down below. But just on my initial kind of poking around, I don't think that I noticed the percentage of niacinamide. So um, I do prefer a higher percentage personally. I'm going to guess this is probably somewhere in like the 5 to 10% range if I had to like venture a guess. So I think it's fantastic. I will... I will be going back to my Paula's Choice, but this is a great affordable option and I'm glad that I tested it out. So um, yeah, just really gentle on the skin, totally worth a try. Um, I went through a box of my Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Extra Strength Daily Peel Pads. This was just a pack of five. I love these. I had not used them in such a long time. Um, I was just focusing on using some other exfoliators and sometimes I do, I can't overdo it when it comes to exfoliators. So I'm trying not to do that at this point in my life, but I took a break from some other exfoliators for this past month and just used one of these per week. Um, they come in a packet like this. So it's a two-step formulation. Step one is going to be your peel formula. This is meant to exfoliate and, and soothe the skin, smooth the skin, I'm sorry. So it's just like a moistened towelette, if you will. So I wipe that all over my face, all over my neck, all over my chest. Even though my neck is sensitive, I can use the extra strength on my neck but they do have a gentle formulation on this. So if you have a sensitive skin type in general, I would probably tell you to pick up the gentle formula. There's also a universal, but I don't know, I've always been a fan of the extra strength, extra strength so that's what I get. So you leave that on for two minutes and then you open up step two here, which is another like towelette that has a solution on it. It's the neutralizing solution that you are going to wipe over those areas that you covered with the acid. It's gonna neutralize that, stop that action, and then you can go on with the rest of your skincare. You do not rinse your face after you put on the neutralizer. You just go on with your next steps, whether that is a hydrating essence, whether that is your moisturizer, whatever. Um, I prefer to use these at night. Um, they say you can use AM or PM. I don't know. I just prefer this type of stuff at night. So I really like these a lot. Would highly recommend if you've never tried them out. Um, you've heard me talk about these for years on my channel. I still love them. I just took a little bit of a break from, from them. Okay, this, so this particular um, container of Green Clean, I finished up towards the beginning of May and then I got this in PR from Pacifica. Um, this came, this actually came first. So these were two separate PR things that they sent to me. Um, this is the Pacifica Wake Up Beautiful Waterless Cleansing Balm. So I was using this as my makeup remover for several weeks. I don't love the delivery system here because it's like a metal tube um, and I just find these hard to work with. Um, but the product itself, so this has quinoa and mushroom in it. I do think it did a really good job of removing my makeup. I will say that I had to work just a little bit longer on the eye makeup to get it to break down my mascara. The green clean is a little bit faster in that, um, but after you know taking a little bit more time, it certainly removed the eye makeup beautifully. I think this works great. I think this would be more travel friendly. I, I still don't like these metal tubes, so but it, this would fit into you know a travel bag a little bit more easily than like a giant tub like this. So I don't know. For traveling reasons, I may repurchase this and just pop it into my travel bag and just have it available for that. But 
Um, yeah, I, it does. It does not replace the pharmacy green clean, however. But I think I think it's great to try. So if you, if you're in the market and want to try something different, this is less expensive than the pharmacy. So I don't know. Maybe that sways you. I think it's good. Worth it, worth a try. Okay, here we have the Lelicious Velour Body Melt and Sugar Coconut. This was basically almost like a coconut oil type consistency. Um, smells amazing. Uh, use sparingly. <laughs> this is going to take a while to really absorb into your skin. I really liked using this after getting out of the shower. Um, it was a huge tub. So this lasted me for a very long time. The Sugar Coconut, I think, is my favorite scent from Lelicious. Um, it's a very sweet, like gourmand type coconut um but yeah this if you use too much of it your skin will look very oily and it will not completely absorb it's going to take some time to absorb to begin with because it does like it's it's like i'm telling you it's just the consistency of i think there's there's coconut oil in here yeah yeah that's coconut oil you have kalahari melon seed oil macadamia nut seed oil um sweet almond oil yeah, this is basically just oils. So use sparingly, but does really lock in the moisture after you get out of the shower, especially like right after you shaved your skin. Fabulous for that, for sure. I'm gonna stress one more time, use it sparingly. Okay, this came from my travel bag. This is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Boom Boom Cream and just a little mini. I think I might actually keep this and refill it and just keep this in my travel bag because the big one that I have is like the regular eight ounce size. Again, much larger container. Container, Not as easy to travel with. That being said, if we're gone for more than like a couple days, this is not really enough. So I don't know, I'll probably just refill it anyway. So I think I'll set that off to the side. Love that fragrance. That is the Shirosa 62 fragrance, I believe. Um, the scent of that, also how hydrating that is, is what keeps me coming back to the Boom Boom Cream time and time again. It's so good. I love it. Okay, Alterna uh, Anti-Aging Restructuring Bond Repair Leave-In Heat Protection Spray. So I started this last year at some point, kind of set it off to the side. I have used it almost... Uh, probably I'd use like, uh, mm, I think I'd use like two thirds of it. So I made a concerted effort to finish this up this month. I really like this product because it does provide amazing heat protection. The heat protection is up to 450 degrees. So it does a beautiful job of protecting your hair from the blow dryer, your straightener, all of that fun stuff. But that being said, this was a little bit heavier on my hair than the, um, complete uh the cc cream complete hair correction the one that i normally use that one <laughs> i'll let you know what i'm talking about and link it in the description box down below but it's also from alterna <laughs> comes in a squeeze tube whereas this was more of like a spray format um that one doesn't weigh my hair down this was a little too heavy on my fine thin hair if you are new by the way uh this is my natural hair color i don't dye it like this um, I do still have a little bit of my dishwater blonde back here that has not transitioned to gray. So my hair is not completely gray yet, but um, the top part is for the most part. So someday soon I will get there. Anyway, if you have thicker, coarser hair, you might wanna look at this one. But if you have fine thin hair like me, uh, I'd skip this one. It just, it'll weigh your hair down just a little bit. Um, I love this product. I need to repurchase this. This is the COSRX uh, Ultimate uh, Nourishing Rice Overnight Spa Mask. Um, don't let the term mask, like this is not a rinse off mask. You're going to leave this on your skin. I basically applied this like a moisturizer. It has the consistency of a moisturizer and I would just put it on at the end of my skincare routine, go to bed, wake up in the morning with incredibly hydrated skin, um, give my skin a beautiful glow, um, just a really nice, essentially moisturizer that absorbed very easily. So um, I would use this all over. I am someone who uses my skincare from here to here. So I really make sure that I'm treating the whole area. Um, if you are ignoring your neck, may I suggest incorporating at least your neck into the skincare routine? I'm telling you, there, you will wake up one day and you're like, oh, I probably shouldn't have ignored that area for as long as I did. Because <laughs> then you're going to be catching up. So if it works on your face, it's probably going to work really well on your neck. Sometimes you have to be careful because if you're like me, you have a sensitive neck. But I have rhinohide on my face. I don't know what the difference is, but it is what it is. Okay, 
This is a ridiculously expensive eye cream that I love, but I will never purchase the full size of this because it is just exorbitantly expensive. I think it's somewhere in the I think it's in the $250 range. Don't quote me on that. What is this? This is the 111 Skin Space Defense Bright Eye Lift Gel. Um, I actually got this in a skin store box that came with some other samples of the 111 Skin products, and I fell in love with this. So what I did is I just bought another box because the box was either like 50 or 60 bucks and had like, I think over $100 well over $100 worth of products in it. So it was worth it um, to be able to get another one of these eye creams, but this is my last backup. So bummer, but I also have other eye creams that work just as well that are not nearly as expensive. So I loved her, but I'm okay with letting her go. She can, she'll end up in someone else's bathroom, I'm sure. All right, we have a mascara. This is one of my favorite Holy Grail mascaras, CoverGirl Clump Crusher. As soon as there's an empty, a new one takes its place. I love this for my lower lashes. It is a plastic bristle wand and it has a nice curve to it. It's just really easy to get into your lower lashes with this particular wand and it separates the lashes so perfectly. I cannot recommend this one enough and I always just go for the very black. Love me some very black. Okay, let's talk the Mally's Be Glowy Brightening Body Serum. I actually have a backup of this that I purchased. This one here was a PR item. So I wanted to be able to use these Mally's products for an extended period of time. They sent me three products to begin with, but I feel like for the claims that they're making, I want to be able to use them, like I said, for a good long while to see if there is any validity to them. This particular brightening serum is just supposed to help with discoloration on the skin. Again, give a brightening effect. I have specifically been using this on my legs. Um, I am someone who, when I get a bug bite, I will scratch, 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 and then um, the marks that are left behind after the scabs, you know, heal up. Um, are the, those red spots stick around a long time for me on my legs. And I do notice that with since using this, they have lightened a lot faster, but worth the price point, I don't know, because I also think that there are some, like AHA body lotions, for example, like the Alpha AHA body lotion also does that as well. So I don't know if you necessarily need this. And it's not, this is not particularly moisturizing. I don't use this as a moisturizer. I really just did use it to test to see if it would brighten that skin and if it would lighten, lighten the dark spots. I do think it has a skin brightening effect. I do think it helps to lighten those spots. But again, I think there are less expensive lotions available, but I'm gonna open my new one, stick it in the bathroom, and once I finish that, we'll come back around and I'll give you guys some final thoughts. So I'm not saying run out and get that quite yet, but seems to be working is the moral of the story there. Okay, these are two products uh, from First Aid Beauty that I've been using for a couple of months. Um, these were actually both PR items that I received several months ago. I don't even think I ever mentioned them. I don't think that I ever even mentioned them on my channel. I just thought, you know, I'm gonna use them. First Aid Beauty is not a skincare brand that I'm particularly drawn to, and I honestly don't know how I ended up with these PR items. I don't remember signing up with them at all and i don't remember them even contacting me but certainly appreciate them sending these products my way um this is the bounce boosting serum with collagen and peptides um i used this on my face my neck and my decolletage um, i really liked the texture of this i do think it certainly worked at being a nice lightweight serum that hydrated my skin plumped it up a little bit um I like peptides in skincare. I think they make a really big difference. Did I see any dramatic before and afters from this? I don't think so. But honestly, at this point, my skin is in pretty darn good shape for my age. I'm not sure that there's like a whole lot that I'm looking for improvement wise. I'm just looking for the products that are going to help me maintain the progress that I've made at this point. So did this help my skin continue to look really good? Yes. So I guess 
it worked in that respect, but no, I don't have a dramatic before and after for you. Now this moisturizer, this is their Ultra Repair Firming Collagen Cream. This was quite thick. I did use this on my neck, and I did use it on my decolletage, but I felt like it was a little too heavy for my face, even for the evening hours. So I was focusing on using the uh, Overnight Spa Mask from COSRX. Um, more so on my face, but this also surprisingly I use this a few times on my eczema I get eczema outbreaks here on my upper arms and This really helped soothe those eczema flare-ups Would I buy this just for my eczema flare-ups? I don't think so but I do think that I'm gonna go back and try out the First Aid Beauty, uh, their cream, like the big tub of their like body cream again, because I do remember that working very well for my eczema in the past, so maybe I'll go pick that up and see if that gives me the same results as this did on the eczema, but yeah. If you have very dry skin, you should check this out because I think you'll really like the moisturizing effect of this, but if you have oily skin like me, Probably not really going to be your thing. All right, let's discuss. I have uh, just three more things here really quickly. The Lumify Eye Drops. You see these a lot in my empties. They will brighten the whites of your eyes. I love them. There's no rebound redness from these. They're fabulous. Um, I have a complete uh, skin restore, which is the supplement that I use for my hair and my nails. This also has skin benefits to it, but honestly for me, it makes my nails grow a heck of a lot faster in fact, so much so that I have to cut them a lot more frequently than I would care to. I like short nails. I'm not a long nail girl. Um, by the way, my nails are painted. Uh, Lisa and I, went to, when I went to go visit her this past weekend, we went and got manis and petties. This is the first time I've had my nails painted in many moons. Um, and this is shellac. Um, I don't remember the, the name of the brand, but I do remember it was number 311. I don't know if that helps you. I know nothing about shellac. I do know that I'm probably gonna go have to have this removed professionally because I don't think it just comes off with acetone, right? I feel like I should have probably asked questions <laughs> before I was like, I like that color, yes, let's do it. Anyway, um, great for my hair, great for my nails. I've used these for a number of years at this point and I always purchase when City Beauty has a substantial sale. So I purchased six months at a time. This past weekend they had a 30% off sale. I still have three bottles left, so I did not buy at that sale. I'm really hoping that I don't go to grow to regret that because, um, yeah, I really don't like paying full price for these. They are they are quite spendy. Not as expensive as some supplements, I will tell you that, but they are they are quite spendy. So I like them at 40 or 60 percent off. One more thing, just really quickly. Sorry, I'm looking at the timer because it's gonna, ugh, my camera's gonna shut off here in a second. This is the Paracone MD Cold Plasma Plus Advanced Serum Concentrate. This I used as just like a facial moisturizer. Um, I only had a little bit left of this and it was just sitting in my skincare drawer so I finally decided to pull it out. Um, I love the Cold Plasma products. I realize they are exorbitantly expensive. So would I repurchase this? Probably. I just, I do think that they have a beautiful effect on the skin in terms of just making it look firmer, making it look younger. And I think a lot of that just has to do with the fact that it just hydrates the skin really beautifully. And I don't know, I love Paracone MD. I, I don't think that they are like a must, must try especially if they're not in your budget. But if you've ever been interested, I really like the whole line. I'm using their essence right now and that's quite spendy, but I got it at 50% off. So if you can find that stuff on sale, I think it's absolutely worth checking out. Also check out um, Costco. Sometimes they have the Paracone products available on there and they are significantly less expensive than what you would pay for them either at Sephora or Ulta wherever they're available. So, all right, you guys, I'm going to cut it here. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Let me know what you finished up this month. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.